hacked yourself, a problem with the computer turns on but you get no video signal on the monitor. So the first and uh, immediate uh, things to do is to um, check and confirm your video card is working correctly. So by this you can uh, probably check the video card on a different computer. If you have a spare video card you can plug in a different video card to confirm. If it is a brand new video card then uh, in most cases um, you shouldn't have a problem with that video card so the next thing you want to check is the CPU so make sure although the CPU is working um, correctly make sure that the CPU is not damaged uh, you might want to uh, pull out the CPU and check all the pins make sure there are no dust between the CPU and the slot and if there is, uh, if there is any dust or anything that got, got in then it could uh, stop, stop your computer from uh, working correctly and hence you will not get any signal on the monitor. Also you might want to check this uh, power cable to see if it's uh, using a 4 pin or an 8 pins on your computer. So what I've got here is a uh, power, so a CPU power adapter. So it's got like um, two cables here. So one is 4 pin and the other one is another 4 pin to form together to make 8 pins so make sure you use them all together and make sure it is properly aligned you plug them in the correct place so double check that to make sure all the pins are properly connected so if your motherboard have um, 8 pins then make sure you plug in properly and use all the 8 pins on that so check the CPU, check the power cable, the CPU power cable and make sure the slot, the CPU is uh, set properly if uh, necessarily uh, we set the CPU that can solve um, in many cases also you want to check the RAM, pull out all the RAM and just try one RAM at a time and you might also want to try the RAM on a different slot so try the just a single module and see uh, if you if that fixed the problems. Um, it could be also be the motherboard. So if you check and confirm everything else work, then you can also check the motherboard to make sure that the motherboard uh, doesn't give you any problems. You might also want to check the power units and confirm that the power units uh, is working correctly and giving out the right power. Uh, also on your motherboard, make sure that the motherboard is properly connected to the chassis. So make sure that you use a proper um, space to uh, to connect your motherboard to the computer chassis. And uh, if, if everything's still uh, not working, you can try to pull out the CMOS battery and wait for five or ten seconds or even thirty seconds, and then place it back in, and then give your computer a restart and see if you still have any issues. And uh, that's all the checks that you can do. Thanks for watching this video.